Before we get into this week's show, I want to give you the three challenges for the month of June. Please know that these are not sponsors, but just friends that we support, so helping them helps us. The first challenge is to go watch Dead Drift on Amazon Prime. You don't need to be an Amazon Prime member to watch Dead Drift, so please go watch it, then come back and post in the comments what you think. Our second challenge for the month of June is to go try Glenn Morangi Quinta Raban 12 year and let us know what you think. If you are in Western Washington, it is available at Louis G's in Fife. So go take a few sips, then post in the comments what you think. We want to hear from you on this. The third and final challenge for the month of June is to go to thewhiskeypeople.com for all your whiskey education needs. No matter if you want to be a server at a restaurant that knows what they're talking about, a bartender extraordinaire, an entrepreneur starting your own distillery, or just a whiskey snob that needs to know more, this is the place to get your education and become a true whiskey nerd. Now, on with the show. Welcome to another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh, we are recording in our backyard, uh, my backyard, because uh, we got a uh, kind of a, a one of my mini cask experiments. Uh, this is uh, there's three different whiskeys in there, and uh, right now we're going to cut to uh, JPEGs, uh, little images of uh, what what this is. But we got uh, Watkins. Uh, we got. Boone. Zachary Boone's and we got Rebel Yell and no. by the way the reason that I no. uh, not Rebel Yell Rogue, uh, Rogue sorry so uh, anyways uh, this is three whiskeys that I considered undrinkable uh, so I put them in a the mini cask for several weeks a few weeks longer than most people uh, recommend for a mini cask uh, there's a, a point of diminishing returns they say but uh, we're about ready to find out uh, how much of diminishing returns so uh, this is uh, three different whiskeys. It's kind of my own, my own blended. Uh, so uh, I think technically I could call this nerds drink whiskey whiskey, right? Yeah. 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 So, blended uh, nerds. Blended nerds. There we go. Yeah. So uh, this is the blended nerds. Uh, we're gonna try this. Uh, so uh, dark helmet, do your thing. Ludicrous speed. <gasps> Finish is still uh, a little, watery. little, little better, but it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a little watery. It's a little. Uh, this is it, it tones down. It toned down a lot, a lot of the bad stuff, but it also toned down the good stuff. I didn't know what the bad stuff really was, but the, I mean, those three whiskeys are interesting. as the way I like to put them, uh, and they may have some redeeming virtues. But you can taste how it took on more of the wood flavor uh, a little bit through the spicing. Uh, that's but wood can't fix fix texture. No, no. So. Yeah, and this this is still not got. I still am not a big fan of the finish. Do you notice a soapyish flavor too? Um, not really soapyish. A little bit soapyish. It happens when you blend whiskeys that you sometimes end up with a little bit of that. I'm not talking like Dawn dish soap. I'm talking like hand soap. No, I, I kind of see exactly what you're talking about, and that's just yeah. it, it's not overpowering, but it's just it's almost on the tip of the tongue, like it's just average or like. Yeah, I used to swear a lot as a kid, so I can speak to what that tastes like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's extremely mild, uh, so uh, that uh, I mean, as we all know about cast time, is it is it. Uh, it makes things a little less harsh, and uh -huh. so it made this a lot less harsh. Uh, but uh, it didn't. It didn't add character. It didn't add uh, depth. It's. It's still. Uh, these are still cheap whiskeys, but now they're it's drinkable. But that's about all I could say. I think on ice it would be just fine, or in a in a um, 
definitely in a cocktail it'd be just fine it's just by itself you're putting it to a pretty high standard when you look at uh, just basic whiskeys neat most people don't drink them that way for a reason mm-hmm. uh, let me ask you a question mark what what kind of cask did you use and where'd you get it from uh, it was uh, I actually can't remember what the, the company was uh-huh. um, but red, oh. uh, red it was like red uh, wood it had, I think I had that like a woodpecker on the, on the thing but it's yeah. uh, red something or other barrel uh, we'll uh, Edit that to point. Edit that. Edit that to uh, the 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 JPEG of that. Uh, their little a little graphic of their their logo. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, it's it's it was uh, an oak it was it was it was oak. You got um, it here locally, or did you? No, no, no. You got uh, shipped no, in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, why is there a good local place you recommend? I don't know. I'm just I don't exploring know all this. Yeah. I had a good friend in Longview that did this, and it turned out really really well. But he didn't blend. It was just one whiskey that, mm-hmm. by itself, he was so so about, and then it really turned it uh, something with a little more flavor. It added uh, smoke and corn to it when when he did it. I mean, or should I say, those flavors came out more. Yeah. And uh, we didn't. He did not lose texture. I think he okay. used. If I was going to guess, he probably used a barrel strength whiskey though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and that that may help. Um, it's uh, uh, we tried we tried we did uh, sandstone bourbon uh, a few months ago and in the same in this in that cask and and it was uh, it kind of had the same same effect is it is it basically just kind of it basically kind of toned everything down that's all it did is it just toned everything down and some of those things that have toned down uh, I wish it wouldn't have toned down yeah. uh, some of the good elements got toned down as well as the bad elements so yeah yeah it's and like putting ice in it. Yeah, it's 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 basically like it's like putting ice in it. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's uh, I'm not I'm not massively impressed uh, with what the barrel did to it. Uh, what, what about you, Dave? Well, I think uh, what the barrel did to there, I do remember tasting um, at least some of these previous ones that we had, and we didn't really agree on a lot of them, especially the well, uh, mixing all three of them together and putting them in the cask for six weeks. It's it got an interesting flavor. I will say that it is definitely drinkable now. Um, still on first taste, I'm not really a fan of the slight soapy flavor, like uh, Tracy was saying. And uh, also that kind of sharp bite still, just right on the tip of your tongue, at very first flavor. As soon as it touches your tongue, it almost kind of snaps. I, I've, I've had I've had cask strength uh, whiskeys, uh, really good cask strength whiskeys with mm-hmm. this much bite. And I know this ain't cast strength. This no. is at, at best 80 proof, and 80 yeah. proof, 80 proof should not have this much of a bite. Right. It's just the spice in the rye, and yeah. it's just it's it's coming out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm not going to complain about it. Yeah. I think it's okay. It's it, it, this is very very okay, but uh, <laughs> if, well, be, if beige was a flavor, time, man. So <laughs> I think that yeah. might be a first year on Nerd Drink whiskey. So. I took three dr- undrinkable whiskeys, and uh, my, the camera a camera woman, uh, also known as my wife, uh, asks, uh, "Did it make the three undrinkable whiskeys drinkable?" And I would say it did. Uh, so you can save undrinkable whiskey with that, uh, but don't expect a miracle. Don't expect anything phenomenal. It's going to tone everything down like an ice cube. Uh, it's a little different than ice cube, but but yeah. about kind of like that. Uh, yeah. So uh, not it's not a, it's not a miracle. But but it, it's definitely worth it. It's fun to experiment with. Um, n- snake oil. Yeah, uh, it's not total snake oil. There there is some legit to it. Uh, so uh, in closing, um, I just want to remind everybody that there are two whiskeys at Louis G's in Fife, uh, where we where we are now recording most of our episodes. Uh, there is a Old Pulteney 12. Uh, and a Glen Morangi, is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah. Quinto Ruban, uh, pork finished. Yeah, and we want you to uh, go to Luigi's in Fife uh, and try those out. And Or if you've tried those uh, out uh, other, other than going to Luigi's, uh, try them out and let us know in the comments uh, what you think of them. So uh, those are our two whiskeys that we want to get your opinion on. Uh, and go out, have a drink, uh, let us know what you think. And uh, remember, always sip, never slam. And tell them that nerds drink whiskey, sent you. See you next week.